Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your weekly reading from April 18th through to the 22nd. This is for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there. Scorpio, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Scorpio. If you are interested, as there are scammers about the community, and know that you'll always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, so Scorpio, your overall energy is the Two of Swords. Your challenge is the Seven of Wands. You have the Universe, the Eight of Wands. You have the High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles. Very interesting, Scorpio. So there's a decision that you're feeling stuck in, okay? And your challenge is blocking something from coming in or unblocking hmm I want to clarify that because I'm also getting setting boundaries with that so you're blocking your intuition here Scorpio I'm not sure why it's like your intuition wants to come to the surface, but because of your blocked heart here, you're going to have to go through this process. Now, that could be the seven of wands, unblocking your heart. Okay, because a new beginning wants to come through here. Could be in a love situation with the eight of wands, right? Because you are communicating with somebody or you will be communicating with somebody. Could be at a distance here. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Whoops. So we have the Eight of Swords. Wow, clarifying the Two of Swords. So you're really up in your mind, up in your head here. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So you're, well, that's you, Scorpio. Work is always showing up. And Six of Swords. Okay. You want to move past this. You want to move past. Hang on. You want to move past feeling this energy of blocking the heart, feeling the energy of being all up in your head. You're wanting to find peace. So I feel like you're going to work on it to get through it. Like, why am I stuck? I can't be stuck. I need to move. So that's what you're going to do be doing let's get let's get a kipper oh ooh thief you get another one thoughts is there distrust here with one or both or is it just within you this distrust because you're thinking Somebody's shady. Hmm. Why is this thief here? I got to clarify this further. Why is this thief here? Ah, the chariot in the Hierophon. Okay. This is a trust issue. You're blocking it because of this trust issue. You're blocking the spiritual wisdom from coming through and it's thus blocking your movement forward here. Yep. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. The Empress. See what you're blocking? Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Let down your defenses, right? 
it doesn't mean let down your boundaries, set boundaries, of course, but you've got a lot of internal conflict going on about this individual. It could be a Taurus because you have the sage here, which is Taurus energy, and then you've got Libra and Taurus energy over here. Hmm. So let's get another card here on the Seven of Wands. Yeah. So judgment. There's something that needs to come out of you. Something, some sort of awareness. This decision, there needs to be an awareness. Your eyes need to be wide open here. Okay, because you're not seeing clearly. I do feel like if you ask, see, that's your challenge too, the spiritual. Okay, I just heard awakening. I said spiritual, they said awakening. So you may be on the verge of a spiritual awakening here and you're blocking it. And if you allow it to come in, you're going to have a, a fuller understanding of where you're at and a, and a complete understanding of this trust thing. All right, let's get a kipper. Coffin. Something needs to die. There we have false person again. Shit. Jeez, Scorpio. I feel like this needs to die. Okay, this false person is you're distrusting everybody that's coming towards you. I feel like it's everybody that's coming towards you. And it needs to die. And the only way for it to die is for you to have an awareness of why it's there in the first place. And it's going to give you a sense of peace if you allow it in. Clarifying the universe is the spirit of wands here. Okay, so there's movement. What are you doing? The hanged man. Six of pentacles and the moon. All right, so you're deciding between two people here. And there is a fear. There's a fear of the future. I'm hearing, wow, there's a fear of being in the now, Scorpio. Wow. So then where are you at? If there's a fear of the future, if you have a fear of the future and then you have a fear of being in the now, where the hell are you at? You're all up in your mind. That's where you're at. Hmm. Yeah, you need to take a break here with the hanged man. You need to look at this from a different perspective. Look at not only yourself from a different perspective, but these people, okay, from a different perspective. Yeah, see? So there's an opportunity with the marriage card here for commitment, long-term commitment. But, you know, you can't get there from where you are yet. Clarifying the Eight of Wands is the Naked Heart. So that's being vulnerable, right? The Heart of Cups and the Temperance card. So if you were to just listen, okay, uh, to Spirit's guidance to your higher self, then you're going to be guided to the answers that you seek, that you need. Anyway, I don't even know if you're so much as seeking them as needing them. But you're not going it, to, it's awareness. You need to be aware. It's like you're, you're just blinded. Okay. Um, let me get a kipper. Because you can create something beautiful here. But you've got to see it first. You've got to see the potential. Yeah, see? You, you've got concern all over the place unexpected income so see they're telling you here if if you open up you know so much more will be available to you money love
places to go, people to see. It's like, it's like a, uh, you know, you have choices. You have more avenues to choose from. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Innocence of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. And the Death Card. Wow. So, <laughs> you're feeling like your wishes aren't coming true. You're feeling like the universe is leaving you out in the cold. They haven't given you anything. That's that's what you're feeling like. But you're not listening. Which is odd for you, Scorpio. Or for whoever this is for. It's very odd for a Scorpio. Uh, to not be listening to the divine. Because you're so intuitive here. But, yeah, you're just like, uh, I'm feeling left out. Because you're leaving yourself out. You're putting yourself out in the cold. By blocking your heart. It's, now, they're saying, un, you know the song, um, Unbreak My Heart? Now, and it goes, Unbreak My Heart, Say You'll Love Me Again. It's like you're, you're, you're singing that to the universe. That's what they're saying. <laughs> like, you feel like the universe has totally turned their back on you, and they haven't. They're all over this reading. You've got the chariot. You've got the hair font. Oh, my gosh. You got the High Priestess. You got Temperance. Ah. Ooh. And here we have the root of it. Inner child work with child. So something is here that can help you make your dreams come true here. But you've got to transform it. You've got to unblock your heart. All right, so tell me about the High Priestess. Justice. The Wheel of Fortune. See what, what, oh, let me get one more. Oh my gosh. Sky Father. So see what's going to happen if you allow the divine in or when you do. Let's say when you do because it is coming at the end. So you may be going through some, you know, spiritual process here but you've got the emperor basically you've got the wheel of fortune and justice so things will turn around for the better and you'll see that the universe has not forgotten you they'll be leading you'll be leading yourself towards your wishes here when you connect to the divine because then you'll be in alignment you will be balanced you will be in the now, right? And then you've got this emperor coming in. Emperor or empress. Didn't the empress come out? So a divine counterpart then. You've got a divine counterpart coming in. But you've got to figure out why you're feeling abandoned by the universe. There's something with your inner child. And you'll figure it out. Yes, you will, Scorpio. So let's get advice here. Wow. That's some deep shit, Scorpio. But wouldn't have it any other way with you. All right. So advice for my Scorpios. Advice. Beliefs. We all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving toward creative solutions. So look at your beliefs. And the hair font, because you had the sage over here, is all about beliefs, right? So that can help you possibly um, unblock your heart because that was clarifying the two of swords here by looking at your beliefs. Communication. The clarity, interactivity, and timing of communications is critical. So before you communicate, figure out the timing of it, okay? Because that could be important. There could be a message uh, with somebody that you're communicating with, and it's got to be, you know, you know when they say you're at, you're at the right place at the right time? That's what I'm feeling. 
All right. Scorpio, I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Scorpio, if you are interested, as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and or week and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.